what's up fellow Sam Barnes so today's video was gonna be a little bit different so if you've seen my videos on how to switch over to LEDs instead of your typical halogen bulbs and the benefits one they're brighter two way way less drag on your alternator and me being I don't want to say I have ADD, but I have a very short attention span. I leave my headlights on my K cars all the time. I, I just, I, I blank out and I leave them on. And I've actually had the LEDs on this one on and my Acti, probably even my Bravo, like overnight. And the LEDs did not drain the battery. It was quite impressive. So a huge, huge fan of LEDs, just the, way less drag and power that they use so again i made videos on do how to do the headlights so i recently installed fog lights on my ks4 or my sandbar truck and i did a short i did a real in-depth one on my green van and i did kind of a short one on how to just rig up the factory wiring button and harness and all that stuff but I didn't really show like how to mount them and all that and the bulbs I used well I kind of cheaped out on these bulbs and I'm sure you've probably seen Oxito the yellow box LEDs on Amazon at least I usually do and I like I said I went with a really cheap LED up here instead of paying a little bit more for a better quality LED. And these things suck, they're not bright at all. We'll do a, a comparison so you can see that I'm not just making this up. But Oxito reached out to me and wanted to see if I would make a video on the LED bulbs. And since I use them already, I'm totally cool with showing you these these bulbs and recommending them because again, I've used them. So I can confidently say that they're great bulbs and I haven't had any issues with them in any of my van, truck, midget, Acti yet. And I've been running them for, you know, close to a year, a little over a year now. So I had to uh, stop and rewatch what I just filmed because I forgot if I had told the story of leaving my lights on overnight. Oh, sometimes my brain doesn't work. So anyways, I was gonna show you guys because they reached out to me and they're like, hey, we'll give you an affiliate link, which means I get, I think 10% of the sale if someone buys these bulbs. And not only that, I have in like an exclusive 15% off coupon from their website. So basically I think it makes it a little cheaper than buying them off of Amazon. So um, I'm sure you've seen these on Amazon, the yellow box, they usually stand out the most with the yellow box. So maybe if you're in the mood to switching to LEDs, uh, you could help me out by using my link. I'll have it in the description and all that stuff and using my coupon code for 15% off. And that would help me out big time and just, you know, a little, extra income to keep making videos and doing stuff to the sandbars and helping you guys out because uh, helping you guys out takes a lot of time and emails and answering lots of questions. Been answering a ton of questions lately, which is great. It's just, it's been tough. So I apologize if you're watching this and I haven't responded to you. Um, I'm getting to it, I hope. If it didn't get kicked down the line in my emails and I gotta try to dig it out, but Anyway, sometimes it gets a little hectic. So, man, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> so let's do a little comparison. Again, I bought these and cheaped out. These were like, I don't know, probably 10 bucks and they're terrible. You can't hardly see them at all. So we'll do that. We'll show these and then we'll install these. I'll show you if you have fog lights and want to switch over to LEDs. And you can see the brightness difference between the two bulbs with the cheap and these Oxitos, which I'm super pumped to uh, 
have a, uh, an affiliate link with. So awesome. Let's uh, do a little comparison here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off my uh, my Jerry rigged work lights here. Let's see if we can get a good representation. Let's turn on my switch here. <laughs> you can't even see them. They're really a joke of a LED. So here they are on. Now let's turn on just the headlights. Those are the Oxitos as well. Super bright, obviously. Headlights, bigger bulb, but still can't see the fogs at all so let's put the oxitos in so then we can get a good representation of how they look so the headlights they're pretty much all the same they're h4s acti's an h4 mitsubishi is an h4 I'm not sure what the midget is i forget i'd have to check that but these uh these are h3s they're slightly smaller and a different style bulb so Let's go ahead and put these in. So it's just two Phillip heads if you have fog lights and the light will come out and then we can put the light in. Okay, so I did one side just to make sure it worked. So I'm gonna do this side and show you guys because you kind of have to do it a little bit differently than it would be if you had normal bulbs. And I'll show you why. And it works. I might get some uh, haters for this, but it's my sandbar, so just calm down. Let's get the fog light out. Be careful, I don't want to break anything. Okay. So this is what I'm going to show you. So if you got the fog lights, it should have like a rubber seal on the bottom. Be careful of that because it's super old and crusty. We're gonna unhook that pin there. And we can take the bulb out. And that thing, this guy will come out as well. Yo, and then we can put the fog light to the side. Okay, so this is what I wanna show. So I did the one side to make sure it worked and it works. So you have your ground, which is this guy right here. And obviously your power. So let's come do the power in the ground. So this little clip is pretty typical with your H3s. Um, it fits right over the base of the light to ground it. But these bulbs are bigger and a hundred times brighter. They're, ext <laughs> they're extremely bright. I did a test to make sure I wasn't full of poop. Well, I might be full of poop, but not that kind of poop. So that base is obviously bigger. So that is not gonna fit. So this is what I figured out we could do to work around that so we can make these bulbs work. I hear the patitos. So let's plug it in. My patitos. Oh my gosh, are we freaking fighting again? I had to go separate the ducks. They're going bonkers right now. And I will not stand for it. Okay. Patita. Okay, so like I was saying, let's, uh, actually let's do this. So we'll put the bulb in, it only goes in one direction. There's a round and a flat. So get in there. And this is what you gotta do differently. What's going on, Patita? What are you laughing at? So since they are fatter, you kind of have to help that pin get in there. It does work though. There we go. I guess get the pin in there first. And then, so now that we have it like this. So like I said, we don't have like our ground strap, if you will, anymore. And that's okay. Because what we can do is we can take our ground here, which is the black wire, slip it on this post. And 
then we can get it to hook down here. Now that ground is not going to go anywhere. There's no way that's coming off of there. And it's grounding it, so it's working. Again, if you don't like it, then don't, don't do it. But for me, it's perfect. It works. And then we're going to plug in our power. Jam the wires in there best we can. Put our seal back on to keep water and all the nonsense out of there. It's kind of a tight, tight squeeze in there now. Okay, so now let's put the bowl of uh, fog light back in its little pocket. Carefully, kind of screw these back in. And like I said, if you're trying to get fog lamps, fog lights for your sandbar, I made a video on how to install if it comes with the factory wiring and I made a video on if it doesn't come with the factory wiring so you can watch both all right so now we saw what these ones look like before let's see what these ones look like now all right let's turn our very rigged up work lamps off see what it looks like now <laughs> and here's headlights Boink. huge huge difference huge difference so definitely a fan of the oxido oxido leds Great. So, there you go. That's how you change your LEDs, or change to LEDs, or swap out your LEDs and your fog lights. Super easy. Just a little, not really tricky, but you just kind of have to work around not having this little ground strap anymore, which is totally fine. It's still grounding it, so that's gonna work for me. And if it doesn't, I'll save those and swap them out if I have issues, but I don't think I will. And um, like I said, H4s for these, if you want to switch them out with LEDs. But again, it would really, really help me out. Uh, I hate trying to promote stuff, but I do really like the Oxito LEDs. And like I said, I have a affiliate link I'll put below. So you can go to their website with that link and then use code okay o-h-k-e-i and you'll get 15 percent off your order which is awesome so it's a win-win for both of us if you get if you switch over to leds and yeah that was super easy basic so cool i think the next video is going to be on the mini cooper the classic mini cooper i just picked up i can't wait to show you guys that and a little backstory on it and all that so so excited for that little car it's so much fun but um yeah if this video was helpful like it subscribe if you want to follow along and the more sandbar how to's and um next oh acti's gonna get um easy k lowering coilovers super stoked on that can't wait to install those um yeah some stuff coming up i just gotta figure out time when to do it but Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, again, hit me up on my website, okgarage.com. If you got questions or need parts, I got a bunch of stuff. And just message me if you need help, and I'll try my best to get to you. It's been a little hectic, but um, I'm trying to stay on top of that. Awesome. Take it easy, guys.